Right, so Andrew and Brian have been building a LodiXR fuse on the forum. And uh, finally, I've had some time myself to look into it and, and add a couple, a couple of things. So I just wanted to show uh, where I'm at with that. So first of all, I've got, I've got a, a loader here with a sequence in it um, and I'm on, I'm on a certain time in my comp where I would expect some frames, but they don't show up because, well, it's a loader and it's much too clever for its own good. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start the uh, file sequence at 1001, which is my uh, global start. Um, so I have to, you know, go there in, 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 in my timeline to, uh, to see it. Um, some of you may remember this little guy from a long time ago. Um, I did change the logo. So there we are. That, that's, that's, that's the loader. Um, I know the sequence starts at 1101, not 1001. So if I want to change it, I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, I'm using a pen. Uh, I'm going to have to go in here and then set this to 1101. And then my frames are here where I expect them. However, if instead I take a uh, ReDXR, which is what I've built upon Andrew and Brian's uh, fuse, immediately it just goes to that to that frame. It uses a current time to request this, this very frame. So the same thing here, the frames are where I expect them to be and also the fuse doesn't fail when, uh, when there's no frame uh, at that time. Uh, which is good, something that Brian already did, uh, and I like it. So instead of failing, it outputs an empty, an empty frame. Uh, although I did, I did add a couple of couple of things, so it can it can output whatever uh, whatever you set in the uh, in the fuse. What I've done on top of this is a couple of things that I I think are quite nifty. Um, uh, you see the read sequence uh, button here. So basically I can uh, go to any frame uh, in my sequence. That's the default. If I turn it off, plunk, it'll take this frame here, which is, which is the current time, and it will load it as a still. If I turn the sequence back on again, I'm back in, in the sequence. I can, uh, I can offset the sequence if I want. Uh, then turn it off again, and again it will take it will take this frame now, which is not the same as my time because it takes the offset into account, and take that as a as a still. Um, it also supports uh, relative path maps. So if I instead of oh no this here uh, put comp uh, there we go, it works as well. Lovely. This doesn't do much apart from you know failing when when I, I use this I'll, I'll, I'll probably do something similar as with the read sequence to sort of change it on the fly that's not that's not done yet um, this is far from finished um, hence the version 0 0.1 there's a channels tab where you can see the channels none of this really works or does anything there's quite a few UI problems etc etc um, it does load EXRs um, so that's that's good, uh, but the functionality is still a little bit limited. Uh, what I have managed to do, though, is I'll take another one here. It can load different parts. Uh, I have managed to do that. So if I go into Channels tab and your EXR contains parts, uh, this is a demo EXR uh, uploaded recently on the forum by user Noah. Thank you for that. Um, and it's got three three separate parts. So if I switch between those, um, you see it, it, it just it just shifts them into uh, RGBA, which which is actually not not a bad way to uh, work like that in uh, in Fusion because you want at some point you want them in RGBA anyway. So if you export your uh, your EXRs with all all your channels in different parts, uh, that's actually not not such a bad workflow. Andrew Hazelden has made a fuse called Lifesaver, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. It allows you to save your uh, your EXRs with, the, with total control over parts and channels and, and, and all of that. If you're working with EXRs, it's a must-have. Please use it. Uh, you won't regret it. Anyway, uh, what 
Lifesaver has is a set of tokens um, that you can use to as shorthand for um, for certain for certain variables. So, for example, um, as if we go back to this one here and to the file, you'll notice that this part of the file name is the same as the comp name. So, I can instead of putting this in here, put um, dollar sign. Uh, brackety thingy and then comp brackety thingy uh, yep and uh, nope why is this not working uh, what did I do oh do uh, brackety thingy oh, it's a great demo um, so it'll automatically fill that in um, and again it works um, this still works uh, all of all of that yeah oh and the best uh, thing about um, about Reedy XR is uh, if you look at the little diamond here you can animate this you can animate this you can you can modify it um, and um, expression it so um, so for example really quickly I've got a text here with the uh, with the file name in there I'm I'm totally cheating because otherwise I'm gonna have to invent an expression on the fly which uh, I'm, I'm not that good at so if I just put text one dot style uh, style text in here boom and it works again. Right, couple, couple small thingies of this one. Um, if I let it fail, it'll output uh, an image larger than um, than the file because by standards, by default, it's set to uh, HD, um, which is also my uh, comp uh, preference. But the image is. 720p so I can just set that from my current image instead of typing in all the values here set from current image and then when it fails then uh, it's the same size any any color color you like there we go yeah and that's it um, as I said lots still to be done uh, but I'm gonna upload this one to the forum i'll put this video on youtube uh and i'll see you in the topic in a tiny bit